Good evening, everybody. So, what I finally did was I took some of this compost that was sitting. This was compost that I had removed from the larger pile about three weeks ago. And I finally put it in the wheelie bin, as you saw, see right here. And I rotated the larger compost, which is over here. This compost finally got rotated. Look at it. See how dark it is? Uh, it has broken down quite a bit. So what I did is I gave it a good rotation and I gave it a good um, um, watering. So that way um, the heat could build up again. So I have right now the compost thermometer in uh, being tempered. It's wedged in the door of the refrigerator so I can get it to go down all the way to as far as it can go. And then once I plunge it right into this, it will heat up properly and be, I guess you could say, accurate. And this is that pile right here that I took that you just saw in the wheelie bin. I covered it back up and I've got a, um, a large like 50 gallon or 40 gallon um, bin liner on top of it and then this uh, sheet that is designed just for covering compost. And so now we're gonna wait. Now this compost right here, the one I just rotated, uh, sat for three weeks and now it has been rotated and it's going, it looks large now again, but what's going to happen is that this is now going to heat up all over again and it's going to break down even further. And I'm trying to utilize the temperatures here in Fort Worth, Texas, USA, because right now the temperatures in the, almost in the middle of uh, November, uh, 2020 are quite warm still during the day. It's at night when it gets kind of cold. Now, I don't know if any of you noticed, I go, I go ahead and I, um, cover my compost. However, if you look, it's along this, this, this fence right here, this chain link fence. So it is getting some air in the back. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get over the fence here, so bear with me. But right there, I don't know if you can see it. And of course, on the other side as well, right here. And my neighbor, as you can see, this is her lovely garden. She did give me permission to film it. So I'm not being sneaky or cheeky, but take a look at that. Look at hers. Isn't that lovely? Um, I'm trying to create a food forest. Hers is a little bit more structured than mine, but I am establishing kind of a forest mentality with pathways and whatnot. Because the idea now is to really get this place looking enchanted. Not just producing food, but also a place you can come into and have a sense of zen, a calmness, and a sense of fantasy. Um, uh, any pointers any of you can give me in the sense of uh, uh, outside decor as natural as possible um, as well as uh, anything that I can use as far as solar powered because I don't want to use anything on the grid. I want to kind of be off the grid in that sense if I'm making any sense at all. I have a tendency to ramble on. But right here, as you can see, look at that. And she piles up her leaves along the fence line right there. So there's a lots of aeration coming in through the backside. So when I do cover the front, although it's covered and it's not getting air up here, it is getting air in the back. So I noticed that when I uh, rotated it and it um, uh, was slightly dry in there. So, cause it did go down to kind of active instead of being hot. And I really want this as hot as humanly possible before it gets rather cold out here. And as I mentioned before in a previous video, um, the temperatures here in, I think this is zone 8A, um, in the USA, Fort Worth, uh, temperatures don't really get cold until January, February, and that lasts only about 65 days. And then it gradually starts to warm back up again, right in the middle of March. So, you know, we get short winters here, and I kind of like that, you know. Anybody else who's been in the UK, any uh, fellow uh, um, uh, British individuals out there, they know how long the winters can last out in the UK, and they last relatively long. If you do not have a greenhouse, You've got to wait pretty far into the year before you can really start planting outdoors. But there you go. And uh, as always, I encourage all of you to uh, hit that like button and definitely subscribe. And I'm going to actually put up another video tonight because I've got a little surprise that came in the mail. I did mention that I was going to order some more flock seeds. And guess what arrived? So we're going to do a little opening on that and then we're going to sow some seed. Until then, guys, please treat each other with kindness, dignity, and compassion. We can do this as a species. God bless and be safe.